Hi, if you want to know how to make this one, please stick around and I'll show you how. Hello and welcome to Femo and Why. If you're new to this channel, we're glad to have you here. And to all the awesome subscribers, as always, there, thank you guys for coming back. And once again, this is going to be another video tutorial for you guys that's easy to make and easy to follow. By the way, if you're new to this channel, you might as well please subscribe to our channel so you'll get updated every time we have new upload in this channel. Here. So if you want to know which material or what are the materials we use for today's video, please check the description down below and we'll put everything down there. Alright, so first we'll use our balloon. This is 12 inches balloon. You can use a smaller size, but for this particular video we use 12 inches balloon. So I will inflate this a little just to stretch the material. Okay. Once you get this inflated, you release the air. Okay. And I will use 260Q. Okay. You this is 260Q balloon if you're new to the balloon industry. So I will tie this up. Just make some knots here. So what I'm trying to make here is a little ball. Just like that. Cut this off. Just like that, you will need six of this. So I already pre-made some, and it's right here. Okay, there you go. So this is our balloon. So what I'm gonna do, I will put a line right here. So now I will put our the knot that I made, as I said, we'll make six of them. So there you go, there's a total of six. So we'll put this in here. And then once it's in, I'm gonna grab it, put it in the corner. Right by the line, right there. So I will pull it like that. And then you have your mini rubber band. So this is actually number eight or mini rubber band. So you put this on here. There you go. You can use this or some Sometimes you can use 260Q balloon and wrap it, but I find it easier if you use your mini rubber band. So we got one in there. Okay guys, so now with the second one, we'll put this in here as well. And you just have to feel. So I put it directly opposite to the other side. like that same thing just like what you did in the first one so they're directly on the opposite side so now you put one two and on the opposite side you put one and two here so you do this on all six
So you get one, one side. Now we'll go to the opposite side. So again, you go one and two. And then la last one. There you go, it's all in there. Total of six. So now we will pump with air. Now I'm going to tie this so it's up to you if you want to make it bigger or smaller so there's no particular size it depends on how big your um, balloon is going to be for the inside of your flower okay so as I said you have six one two three four five six all right so now next thing we're going to do is We'll grab your 260Q. I will stretch this first. And then we'll inflate this. Just squeeze this one. So leaving over a fist. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna fold this and twist in about two. You pinch and twist. Just want to put it in, looking like that. Okay. So we're gonna put this here. Holding it here and then twist it. Just like that. So it's not going nowhere. And then you're gonna pinch and then twist. Right there. So you want this, you wanna make another one like this, the same thing, you squeeze. You fold this one, pinch, and then twist. So about the same. Maybe this two, about the same. So you wanna grab this here, and then attach it to your balloon. You wanna hold this gold one and then wrap it there so it stays in one place. You do this all the way around. So the same thin, same height or length. And hold of this, you wrap this around the ear. I'm talking about this, you wrap this. And then pinch and twist again. You 
do this until you get to the other end where you started. So there you go, this is the back side. Just like that. Alright, so there you go guys. This is the bottom part and this is the top part. Ain't that cool? Okay, so we'll put this on the side. So now we will put we'll grab our 260 key balloon, we'll inflate this, but before we inflate, always stretch. You will need six of this. So we'll inflate this. So just leaving a little on the tip. No particular size, but as you can see, about two fingers left. There and I already have six of this. So now it's time to add this on here. So we will just use this here, put it backward or this way. Just attach this to your balloon. here so it's more sturdier now wrap it here good so now what we're gonna do is go like that So for this one, I will measure about this size. So from here to here. So I'll make sure that all of this is the same size. So I'll measure this one as well. So they're all gonna be this long. So I'm gonna attach this end to this one right here. So the same thing, there's no particular size. It's up to you if you wanna be like bigger pedal like that or shorter. So for this one, I just wanna make sure that they're all the same height. It there for now so we will use this as our gauge we just continue on to the first one Here. 
and then we'll cut this off later. to the other side. Looking good so far. Alright, so the last one. So looking like that for now. So all the extra balloons that we have here, we will cut them off. Alright, so there you go. So we will just put it like that. There you go. So right now it looks messy, but it will look good later. Okay. Now we have our pink balloon right here. It's already inflated. So the same thing, I leave just a little on the tip, two fingers. This one I make like fold hinge and twist I'll do this on all of this Get them all like this. So we're ready to attach this here. So we'll start off with this one right here. Okay. I'm gonna attach my, put it in the center. I'm gonna attach it to your balloon beads. Once you get it attached, you will wrap it here. You want to feed it in between or inside the gold, the rose gold balloon. You will feed it inside the this balloon right here. And then I pinch here. So you will wrap it on the paint itself. Let me make sure that it's nice and tight. Right there, so it'll fit properly inside. 
Okay. So wrap down the paint bead. So when you go like that, it'll fit right in between. Okay. So now I'm gonna I'm tight. I'm gonna take the air, release the air, and then connect it to the other beads right here. So it's securely. And securely tie them. So when you go like that, it's in between, and then put this here. Just like that. So you'll do that on all pedals. Let's continue on. Right there, so I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna bring the camera closer so you'll be able to see it. Clearly. Let's continue on to the next balloon. The next pedal. Same thing, you attach this here. and twist. So once you do that, connect it to the other beads. So continue on until you get all the petals with pink. So all you need to do is fit this in there. So when we flip this, you want this side on top. Alright, so right there so far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on top of the second pedal. Okay. 
so they overlap. This one overlaps that one. So at the back right here, I want my paint goes with the pink. So pink is on close to the pink area. All this color should be in between. Pink is on the outside layer. Looking good so far. So now, what we're gonna do is we'll make our gold um, beads. <laughs> so we will inflate this first, we will stretch. So I'm leaving about one, two fists. So we will make beads. So we will attach this on here. So attach one of the pedal. So once you attach in one of the, the pedal, you will make a pinch and then twist, okay? You wanna make sure that they're the same size, pinch and twist again. So about two fingers. twist pinch and twist again so you do this until you get all the way around And then just connect this end right up the, the base. On the pedal. Now we'll put this on the side. I mean, how do you make this stem? So you 260Q. I need three of this. <laughs> there you go so I'll grab three of this So we're leaving a little on the tip as well. So I'll attach this to. And then I'll go like this. So one this way, one this way. We twist them on the opposite side. There 
you go. So to make this a lot sturdier, I will add another one. This and we'll put this on the bottom part or the back part. See the tail of our balloon, full balloon. Wrap this on here. Catch this here as well. There you go guys, this is our flower. To finish the look, I will add this curl. This one I inflate it all the way to the end, and then what you're gonna do to make it curly, you just wrap this around. Like that guys. Massage. Squeeze this here so it'll stay curly that way. And then when you let it go, there you go. Nice and curly. Alright, so this is the only time we will use our balloon blue dots. So we'll put one here. on there. Alright you guys, this is finally done and this is how you make this beautiful flower. So if you guys like this, if you have any questions, suggestions, please put it in the comment section down below and we'll answer all your questions if you have any. Please stick around for our comments of the day. Alright, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching Family Minowai. We will see you guys on our next video. Take care and have a wonderful day.